So I have been away most of the day today and uh, I came in, in the evening and I saw that uh, our biggest red-tailed gourami was getting attacked by the second biggest. This looks to be a female and the one that was attacking it looks to be a male. They've been together in the 4500 gallon tank for I want to say five, six years probably five years. Never had any problems like this. I mean, there was always a packing order, but from what I was observing, that other red-tailed gourami was trying to kill this one. I mean, not letting it, not letting it go, just keeps chasing it and, and biting it, charging in it and uh, biting right in the, right in the sides. Not to mention that the fins are in, are all beaten up also. So that was something out of the blue, out of the left field, completely unexpected. So I put it here in the 1800 gallon to recuperate. I think this is the other smaller female. It looks like a female to me. Um, if you look, the next, the other one is the male, and it looks a different, uh, different neutral hump structure. That's the one that was attacking. The bigger female, I suppose. Again, this is the smaller female. She's okay. I know we have a whole bunch of them in here. Uh, like 10, 10 John Garam in here of three different species multiple specimen of each species two Osphronemus like this one common Osphronemus gray then we have I don't know three or two two of the pink form three of the uh, red tail gourami and uh, two of the elephant ear gourami. So those are the two red tails that, that left in this tank. I don't know, It's uh, the water is getting cold, it's not the breeding season at all right now, so I have no idea what triggered it. But that male was chasing that female all around the perimeter. It was trying to hide, hide behind that screener screen in the corner. It was still attacking it, relentlessly. It was obvious, the intention to kill was obvious. So I hope I caught it just in time. This is the elephant ear. This is the other elephant ear. So I hope I caught it just in time. It was very easy to catch because the fish was so stressed. It didn't fight. It was out of it. A lot of damage on it. So uh, usually the garami are pretty hardy. I hope it will recover. Again, nasty surprise, but goes to show you that oftentimes there are so many unpredictable things that can happen. Five or six years I've been together, grew up together. They had the packing order, but I've never seen any prob problems like this between any gourami in the 4500 gallon. If it was in the small tank, like the 240 gallon, yeah, for, for sure. But in the 4500 gallon, I've never seen a problem like this. This is our little disturbing report for today. Uh, this is, uh, I think, two days later, two or three days later.
she's recuperating. It looks like, uh, thank goodness, she didn't go into a shock and perished. The uh, flag, flag tail Proculotus tries to take advantage by sucking slime off of her, but she doesn't let doesn't let her do this too much. Yeah, the male was really digging into the into the side. Always in uh, when I caught it, he was biting in this spot on both sides. Oh. Mostly on that, on the other side it looks like, on the left hand side.